you saying? Hey, hey, hey. One man. Back at it again. Because. This is Amir Amin Lucifer. With the number series. Here on Amitology. Let's get straight into it. Remember where we had left off on Amitology. When I expressed and I explained to you. The coding and understanding of the numbers. And how. In these numbers you will see the following that one and two corresponds together but what I'm here to show you also is that these numbers are prophetic and it speaks of futuristic events you'll find that in the number one and two you have O net what is a net why is it that the net is followed with a cipher? Do you remember in the Bible where Jesus states in the Bible to cast thy nets on the right side? And when they did, what did they find? So what would happen if we cast our net on the right hand side? What happens when you cast the net? On the right hand side, you see, when you cast the net on the right hand side, you have 23, which is 23 up top. Again, you have to understand that the Bible is shredded in mysteries in it, and it's in a code. As I explained to you earlier, you understand that the working of 1 and 2, which made 3, but also you understand that you have one by itself plus the individual one and the individual two which made one plus the now twelve made the thirteen and that which you see is a net also when scrambled to say and show you what is a net look you have a net here you bullet that a net and a what what is that saying? A net what? A network. The first two letters in work is W-O and the R-K. You see? Let me explain something to you. Hold on. To corroborate what I'm saying, in John, the King James Version, it states here that, and he said unto them, cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall find they cast their phone and hold on fam I'm trying to make it more visible for y'all alright therefore now they were not able to draw with for the multitude of fishes John 21 6 and he said unto them cast the net on the right side of the ship and you shall find and it stopped there so we're going to stop there because once we cast this net on the shores of this ship. We shall find a net work of 23. And remember I was explaining to you the mysteries and the power of the number 23. And how one correspond with 23 because Amen is the hidden one. What age was Jesus when he went into the what? What age was Jesus when he went into the temple? He was at the age of 12 when he went into the temple, right? And what age was he when he came back? What age was Jesus when he came back? Jesus was 32. And you see how 32 correspond with 23. Because the ancient one speaks that that which corresponds above also corresponds below. And that what is right is also left. So in essence, 23 is really 32. So again, we're using the King James Version because the name John is a powerful name in the Code Mysteries. I ain't going to speak on that. Seek you shall find, and knock the door shall be open to you. So let's go on a little more. Let me read to you. And the feeding reading from John 
chapter 6, verse 1 to verse 14, chapter 6, it says, sometime after this, let's go here. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, that is the Sea of the Tiberias. And a great crowd of people followed them because they saw the signs and he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on a mountain. When Jesus looked up and saw a great multitude coming towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these people to eat? And he asked this only to test him, for he already had in his mind what he was going to do. Philip asked him, it would take more than a half a year wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Now here where the here where it get deep. In eight verse eight, another of his disciples, Andrew Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barely loaves and two small fishes. But how far will they go among so many? Now you will notice that at verse 8, when you count the letters from 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and on 13, to stop on a boy. Remember I told you that the 13th son speaks of a boy on the number 13, a boy, which after 13, a 113 boy with five. So in essence, it just reveal and just reveal what? 13 what? 13 five again. All right. Let's carry on. Here is a boy. Now, why did it say a boy and not a man or a girl? With five small, barely loaves and two small fishes. What is the sign for Pisces? Do you know the sign for Pisces? The, the sign for Pisces represent two fishes. The sign for Pisces represent the duality of two. Everything dealing with two. And when you say Pisces, you say Pi, which is a circle, right? And one that sees the circle here, one seeing into what is to come. Now, I'm going to explain the deep mystery because 12 is a powerful number in the number system. It starts off with one and two. Okay, a bit more clear. I apologize for that. All right, let's break this down. And let's go down to 12 because the numbers start off with 12. And on 12 we have, and when they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. Look. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets, 12 on verse 12, with the pieces of the five, barely loaf, left over by those who had eaten. So again, it's the symbolism of 12, right? And then it speak on five, because one and two is really, one and two is really 12. And when Jesus said, cast thy net on the right, you come to 20 what? 23. And 23 is 5. And this boy that they speak of, that A boy on the 13th letter on the 8th verse made 513 and 13.5. And as you will see in the word again, O net, you will see a net, whoa, a network, which is, if you understand that the spelling of the word, 
Spark is a W.O. and R.K. left over. Precept after precept, line after line, here little, dear little. And the signs that you will also understand that when you look at that the word Pisces, and you also look at the Last Supper, you will understand that even in the Last Supper, the pie represented two. You see the pie, one and two, but it's a male and female, light and darkness, yin and yang, that made a circle. But also even in this circle, if you remember that, even in that Last Supper, that you will see in the Last Supper, you have Mary Magdalene and you have Jesus connected together. Hold on, family, let me get this button. All right, and as you can see in the Last Supper, you have the two, like the two fishes connecting like the pie, like the Pisces symbol, the Pisces sign. You might see the fishes in gold, you might see the fishes in blue, but the two are wearing the same, the red and the red, because this Jesus falling on September because the month of Virgo falls on the September month. And it's connected to the sun because the 32 is here. Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. One, two, three. You see the three? And the two heads of Cancer and Leo. 32. That connects to the 32. Five. That boy. This boy here. 32. 23 is 32. And 32 is 23. This is the code that Leonardo da Vinci left us that follow the ninth month, which is the Virgo, which makes the Pi sign. And it's a deeper mystery within these two that's connected because it's in the background and pillar up. And on this other end, you will also find that the Pi also sits at the table. The Pi sees also sits at the table. Well, I don't want to get too deep off into it without losing focus from what we originally discussed on one, two, three. I'm in being the hidden one. I'm in is 23 because 23 is 32. And the mystery that was revealed from the 13, if you study mysteries that I have explained the numbers in one video, in two video, you'll see the 13 here. And the 13 connect because 2 plus 3 equal to 5. The 13, 5. This is a mirror. I'm a Lucifer. And this is a I'm ontology. And again, pi is the area of a circle. is 3.14, which makes the circle the circle one who sees. Um, Just looking at the books, the scriptures. But the signs, but the signs are here. And in the word here, you have he and you have re. Who is me? 